today we're going to take a, uh, a brief look at the Great Plain Indians. And as you can see from this uh, young brave here, has a uh, buffalo or, or the American bison on his shield. The buffalo definitely played an important part in the, uh, in the lives of the Great Plain Indians. The Great Plains are a, a geographical area that extend from the uh, Rocky Mountains all the way just about to the uh, Mississippi River. And if you've ever been out through that area, it's fairly flat. And uh, if you've gone through there, a lot, a lot of grassland, hence the term plain. And it comprises really the states all the way from North Montana, North Dakota, all the way south, you get into uh, Texas and New Mexico and everything in between. So it's about, you know, just about the middle third of the country. The Plains Indians, I've read some, uh, oh, some statistics, there's about 200,000 Plains Indians at about, you know, the 1870-ish time, but nobody really has a, a very good number on that. The Plains Indians lived with their extended family, the grandmother, grandfathers, uh, very similar to the, uh, the Asian families. They also value the individual. Now, you've probably seen movies or, or read about the, the young Indian brave who goes off in, to be a man. And uh, the, the Indians really, really valued that individual person instead of the collective for their bravery. Uh, the leaders of the tribe ruled by council rather than by force. And it wasn't uh, too unusual to see the, uh, the women uh, have quite a bit of power in tribal councils. Uh, the importance of the buffalo, or technically American bison, bison, cannot be overestimated or overstated here. The Native Americans were very in touch with, uh, with nature, and they believed that you did not waste anything. And their whole lives really revolved around the buffalo and the migrations of the buffalo. In this map, you can see the names of the different tribes, and again, you're looking at just about the Rocky Mountains to the, uh, to the west and the Mississippi River to the east. Some of the more famous tribes, you've probably heard of the Apache and the Comanche in the southwest part of the United States. You start getting into the, uh, all the middle and to the north part of the, the Great Plains, especially the Sioux and the Cheyenne were, uh, were well known and uh, definitely uh, much has been written about their, uh, their exploits during this time. The importance of the buffalo, I'm not going to go through all this, but the buffalo is used for food, for shelter, uh, for construction, uh, for weapon making, for uh, necklaces, for ornamentation. There was nothing wasted with the buffalo. Un unfortunately, when white settlers began to, began to move into the area, they began just to hunt the buffalo just for sport. And it is said at about uh, 1870-ish, there was uh, approximately 50 million buffalo. And by the time of 1890 or the turn of the century, the whole American bison, the buffalo herd, was down to 2,000. These trains would come in of hunter from rich Easterners, uh, foreign royalty from the, uh, from the European countries. They'd come out in these trains. They would actually even hunt off the trains with these powerful rifles. And they just hunted them for sport. Here is an actual picture of really a mound of buffalo skulls and uh, they did they did not use use the buffalo they just shot it and left these carcasses to rot on the plain and as the demise of the buffalo herds really was the demise of the great plain indians too and that is all we have for today